We have made the most realistic, expandable, extendable lightsaber ever. That's Lanny Smoot. He's one of the world's most famous Imagineers. He holds over a hundred patents, including for this lightsaber. I'm going to allow you to extend and retract it. Now, this is a very expensive prop. No, no. <laughs> now, this is a, is a prop, so we're going to be very careful with it once it's extended. And this is the button that you push to extend it. I'm going to stand back just so that... So I just... Oh, yeah, just that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This felt as cool as I thought it would. <laughs> and it looked as real up close as it does on camera. In the Star Wars universe, of course, these Jedi weapons work by channeling energy through a crystal to create a blade that can cut through basically anything. In our universe, filming the Star Wars movies, actors used these fighting prop sticks, and then visual effects artists painstakingly added the glow in post-production. But for Disney parks, they somehow needed to make lightsabers real. And that was Lanny's job. How does it work? So the challenge when you're making a, a prop for a performer is that it has to look like what we see in the movies. And you remember in the movies, uh, you know, flashing the light extends that can cut through all sorts of things. Well, we don't cut through all sorts of things, but we did want smooth extension of the blade. It's that smooth extension that isn't possible with lightsaber toys that I've seen before. Our lightsaber unrolls from internal motors that are pushing it out. And that was important for our performers to really look like Jedi Knight. The lightsaber has a clear cap with two long translucent tapes attached to it that unroll from inside the lightsaber, allowing it to extend upward. As they extend out of the hilt, the tapes bend into a concave shape to create a rigid blade. And on those tapes are a series of bright LEDs. They had to program those LEDs to make that realistic lightsaber glow. It knows what angle you're moving through. And it's gonna blink its lights a little bit to give it the feeling that it has moved from place to place. And we're also strobing it a little bit in general to give the life of flickering power. If two people have them, can the blades touch each other? This uh, one is not used for battle. We have a stand-in for it when we have to have our stars moving it around quickly. This is more for the extension and retraction. So I should not, I, I you should not. not touch it. Much like a real lightsaber. Yes, you, you don't want to get burned. Of course. Right, of, of course. course. Even though I now understood how they were doing this, it still felt like magic. 